evening. He got a top spot as judge for the United Nations. Now a well-known Cincinnati Republican has resigned in what he calls a purge. Not so, says the UN. In an exclusive story of international intrigue, you'll see it first here with the I-team's Hagit Lamour breaking the news. Hagit? Judge Mark Painter spent almost 30 years as a municipal and then appeals court judge here in Cincinnati. In 2009, he got a post as the only American justice on the United Nations' top court for internal disputes. What started with promise, he says, turned into a farce. And now he's out. The United Nations is known for its relief efforts, like the tough work in Haiti. But what happens when the 60,000 UN employees want relief? From firings, accusations of bribery or sex discrimination, and other workplace disputes? Opening the special public hearing to close the third session of the United Nations Appeals Tribunal. They turn to the United Nations Appeals Tribunal. The seven judges from across the globe have the final word. And our court was supposed to be a bastion of consistency and transparency in the system because there wasn't before. Judge Painter has the floor. Judge Mark Painter became an inaugural member of this new court three years ago by the vote of the UN General Assembly. But right away, he says, problems emerged. The biggest reform here is that our decisions were binding on the Secretary General and all the staff. Wow. And they didn't like that. They're not used to it. Uh, judges telling them, well, wait a minute, you didn't follow the law, and you have to. Painter wasn't alone in his public criticism. Here's the French judge. The United Nations Appeals Tribunal exists. That is true. But it is weak and powerless. It lacks sufficient staffing. Painter says the judges just wanted to ensure the success of what was billed as a reform of the U.N. judicial system to enforce the rules in place consistently. The problem you find out is everybody wants reform, but of course they want to reform someone else. You know, it's always the other guy that needs reforming. Three years into his term, the committee in charge of nominating judges decided not to renominate Judge Painter for a full seven-year term. Rather than finish his final three months, he resigned, saying the committee was trying to obstruct reform and remove judges who strictly followed the rule of law. I wasn't going to be part of the farce anymore. All of this developing today as we contacted the chairwoman of the committee that decided not to renominate Judge Painter. Justice Kate O'Regan of South Africa told us late this afternoon that Judge Painter's allegations are untrue, that the committee wants professionalism and accountability and chose the best candidate in another American judge from California. Again, all of this late breaking, so we are posting all of her answers and Judge Painter's documents at WCPO.com. Clyde. Interesting insight into the workings of the UN, Hagit. Thank you.